black in America to me means to be under constant surveillance, always uh, making sure that you're acting right in a certain way, that you're performing the role that you're supposed to be doing because anything other than that could get you in trouble um, physically, emotionally. So to me, it means to always be at watch because you're always constantly being watched by the country, by people in this country who do not believe in your humanity. I was in middle school and my mom used to pack my lunch for me to school and it was Nigerian food and I had to go through this period of not wanting to bring food to school of like literally not eating because I didn't want people to like make fun of my food or have a specific thing to say about like what it was you know like what is that and picking and poking at what my like my meals were and because of that I stopped bringing my food to school I stopped eating at school in general I get basically gained this dislike of Nigerian food of Nigerian culture anything because when I wasn't at home, it was the main reason for me being like bullied by other children. For me to be black in America, um, it has its highs and its lows. Uh, but for me personally, it, it's a, it, it is an exciting thing. I mean, there's always something going on or happening. So I'm excited to be an African American. Light. I've had professors speak down to me, um, as well as um, as well as like other students that I go to school with. The conversations have been a little slanted sometimes. So, yeah, that has happened to me. For me, I find it a privilege to be black in America, to see everything and to learn everything that my people have come from is just empowering for me from being enslaved to going through the civil rights movement to where we are now with the black lives matter movement it's just like we can we can overcome anything we can fight through anything so i just think it's a it's a privilege for me to be able to be the, the next generation to fight and persevere through this oppression that we live in in america What happened on that day, it was, it was a beautiful sight to see. Um, black, white, Hispanic, Asian people, everyone that lived in Noonan at that point in time rallied around each other and rallied together to say like, this one act of hatred and racism would not define what our city was about. Like, we became, we created a whole hashtag called New Hashtag Noonan Strong about because of that day and we are and it showed that we are so much more than just individuals we were a unified city and there was nothing that was going to break that bond that we had with each other